As one of the largest cloud providers in China, Tencent is expanding their offerings. They've been well known for video gaming, video streaming, and online platforms. Now they're taking that cloud to enterprises and beyond. With a new push as of this year to globalization, Tencent is becoming a big player in the world stage of cloud services. The vertical clouds are AI, big data, internet, security, video, finance, government affairs, gaming, education, smart retail, automotive, industry and energy, and developers. Tencent's cloud was released in 2013. As of 2018, they've been working on expanding their offerings to a new global market. Tencent Cloud and Future begins now. We're taking a look at how Intel products and services match up with one of the largest cloud service providers in the world to provide some amazing technology and real world solutions. Tencent is a global powerhouse. They're known for their innovation in China, but they're actually creating technologies that can change the world. So having the opportunity to come here and talk about how we've been collaborating for 16 years with Tencent, and not only just creating better technology, but using that technology to create new services and solutions that are transforming industries. Talk to us about some of those solutions that you mentioned in the keynote. Let's dive in a little bit to Movidius, for example. So Movidius is one of our acquisitions that really rounds out our artificial intelligence portfolio. Movidius can sit at the edge in gateways and devices and creates a very ultra low power deep learning inference engine for computer vision. So by working with Tencent, who's heavily involved in transforming industries through smart cities and smart retail security, taking the computer, computer vision engine and putting it into these devices and records to collect data, it can be used for helping to do uh, facial recognition of children that are lost or missing, security surveillance to capture things that aren't going right, and transforming the way we do retail. Tell us about cloud and AI space in five years. What's interesting about artificial intelligence, right? This isn't new. We've been talking about it for decades. And now we're starting to see the genesis of actually having this intelligence and business insight, predictive analysis, prescriptive medicine, all of that coming together in real use cases. We're gonna to continue to evolve our technology because the models are evolving. The software ecosystem is evolving. The ideas that the data scientists are creating are evolving. So for every amazing idea that is spawned, whether it's in a consumer environment or a commercial environment, we're gonna adapt our technology, both the hardware, the software, and the platform. And I think the opportunities are endless. I truly think we're just at the beginning. I'm Brian Westbrook, this is Shift, presented by Intel and GeekWire. We are in Guangzhou, China, or as Jerry would like to say, as you can see, it's a little bit warm here. I've uh, switched the tire just a little bit. It's 90 degrees or 32 degrees Celsius. Here in Guangzhou, China, it's a little warm. Over the course of the last few years, we've been in uh, lockstep with Tencent as they've expanded beyond uh, games, which obviously were with them all the way through from the cloud to provisioning at the edge, um, the media cloud, which is powered by Intel as well. Uh, there's just been a lot of different clouds that they've built out, different services that they've offered. Uh, most of that actually powered by Intel Xeon scalable processes. We're talking about retail, smart city, energy, transportation. Uh, what are some of the solutions that Intel has in these vertical markets? Intel, um, fortunately over the last decade, has built out a plethora of solutions. So take Cloud Pick as an example behind me. Um, they are also working in Tencent Cloud, and what they do is uh, through sensors, smart sensors, and cameras, position in a retail store. You could pick up your groceries, and as you walk out of the store, that that you picked up will be charged to you through WePay. So the entire customer experience has been transformed. The payment is actually done electronically as well. A lot of the data is now riding on Tencent Cloud, and through that, they're able to analyze not just inventory, but who's buying what, the retail profile, and feed that back to the retailer. So it's, it's a new way of doing retail, which I believe is a far more effective and more cost efficient for a retailer. Healthcare is, an, is another example where Intel has gone into as well, um, and that has got to do with medical imaging uh, and the use of artificial intelligence, especially for um, diagnosis of cancer, as an example. Uh, that's a new area that's very fast emerging, where they're looking at images and uh, using AI to figure out, is there a malignant uh, growth or tumor uh, 
uh, in the person or not. So a lot of those um, new and different applications are coming into use, into mainstream use, because of what the cloud has enabled. So we're very excited with the next five years. We want to offer our technology to not only internet companies. We also want to offer those technology to traditional industries. We try to figure out how we can use the technology to help manufacturers to increase the efficiency, help the farmers to reduce their cost to get better productivity of their farms. How are you using Intel technologies to help solve these problems for customers? We always are looking forward to be better partnership with our hardware vendors like Intel to figure out how to provide the stable, reliable, scalable infrastructure so we can grow the platform, grow the application, grow the big data and artificial intelligence capability and offer them to our customers. What Intel technologies are you using and how? We just introduced the latest Intel Scalex CPU. A lot of traditional industry are now using cloud. They want to leverage internet technologies. Because they come into this area, we get a lot of data. We also get a lot of requests on, uh, from their applications. Those all require much more powerful uh, compute resource from the infrastructure perspective. So Intel's the latest CPU definitely address that issue, help us to satisfy the, uh, our customer requirements. Intel has a lot of good toolkit, help us to build a really good infrastructure layer to leverage the single CPU's power. That's a wrap from Tencent Cloud Plus Future. I'm Ryan Westbrook. You've been watching Shift presented by Intel and GeekWire. Don't forget to like us on YouTube, follow our channel, and go to geekwire.com slash shift for more of these videos. Until next time, we'll follow the future of cloud for you right here at Shift.